Hey, hey. Happy Friday evening to everybody. I am just checking in here to do a random, a random evening live stream. I, um, I've been nesting here at home. Uh, I put up like a mini Christmas tree, which is awesome. And I've um, been like lighting tons of candles. And I'm looking, listening to an artist right now that I haven't heard before, Amelia Torini. Emiliana Torini. Um, it's really cool. It's groovy and funky. So we're just hanging out, me and Emiliana and my candles. And um, someone mentioned spiced wine to me today. So in Salem, Archive Coffee is like selling spiced wine, you know? And I'm like, ooh, spiced wine sounds amazing. So when I was out today, I love going thrifting. I went thrifting today. I found these super cool glasses. How cool is that? Um, for my spiced wine. Ah! <laughs> um, anyway, very cool. I also bought these little, um, like these little glasses and I put little candles in them. Oh my God, I'm just geeking out. I love, I really do love thrifting. <laughs> so today as I was just kind of taking a day to, to work a little, but to really take care of myself too and, and do some things that make me feel good. I was having this thought about manifestation. So there's all kinds of people talking about manifestation these days, like manifest your dreams and la 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 la, right? Um, and I have a bit of resistance to it because some of it's really simplistic. And I feel like we are more complicated beings than a lot of the the stuff that we're told, right? Like, oh, just do this. And, and, and it actually stresses us out more to, um, to think that things are that simple. Does that make sense? So I was thinking about manifestation and how this is like a big thing that a lot of people in the spiritual world are talking about man manifesting, whatever. And I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of manifesting things, right? Like let's manifest, let's manifest all day long, especially, and we are manifesting constantly. We really, really are. Um, like on a basic level, let's break it down. Manifestation is basically self-fulfilling prophecy. If you've heard of self-fulfilling prophecy, then you've heard of manifestation, right? So manifestation is just a new word that's being used in the spiritual realm or whatever to say, um, you know, you get back from life what you put into life. So if you're feeling jealous and insecure and afraid that your partner's gonna cheat on you or something, um, you are kind of already living through that hell. Like if you believe that's a hellish and like the worst thing that can happen and you're sitting there having a bunch of imaginings about it happening, you're manifesting that like in your mind and your life and your body and your mind don't know the difference between a thought and what's actually happening in reality. So it might as well be true, even if it's not. And if you, the more you think it, the more you'll convince yourself that it's true, right? So that's basically what manifestation is. It's self-fulfilling prophecy. It's what you put out, you get back. <clears throat> but I was thinking today, for those of you who, who believe in, in the energetics of this kind of stuff, how if you are, let's, let's see, what's the example? What was I thinking of today? When, you, when your prayers, when your prayers align with your soul's purpose and your soul's desire for you, right? Like it's kind of like your soul already knows what you need and already has a plan. So when your prayers align with that and when your actions align with listening to the guidance of your soul, you basically can't help but manifest what you want. Does that make sense? When you're so in tune with and like what you're actually focusing on is actually the best thing for you it's impossible <laughs> to not manifest what you want to not have what you want does that make sense so it's prayers and action aligning with your soul's purpose and desire for you and for what's best for you in your life in this lifetime as a human and that's for all of you who believe that you have a soul that guides you. If you don't believe that, um, 
and you believe something else is guiding you, I actually think that this applies to that as well. Again, semantics, right? What people are calling manifestation is the same as self-fulfilling prophecy. Semantics, right? So call it soul, call it Holy Spirit, call it energy, call it universe, whatever you want to call it. But I think you get what I mean. Call it even intuition, inner wisdom, deep knowing. But just understand that you're always being guided, always. And it's just kind of a matter of really listening and getting on board with what you're guided into. Because when you really look at what you're being guided into, you're like, yeah, that actually feels really good. Because you have a specific like set point for where you're going. It, uh, I get really mixed, like how do I say this? Because it's very big and I want you to understand that you have, maybe I'm making it bigger than it needs to be, but um, you have inner knowing, that's all. That's my point. And you can't be led astray when you listen to your inner knowing, even if everything outside of you doesn't, make, doesn't seem to support it. Even if it doesn't make sense based on how you were raised and where you were lived and the attitudes of the people that surround you, right? And that's why it's really brave and courageous to do this work, to do the work, to go inward and to listen and to know your own blueprint, how you operate, what you like and what you don't like. Like I was just sharing these glasses with you that I bought at the thrift store today. I love thrifting. Some people, someone took these to the Goodwill because they didn't want them. <laughs> they might've thought they were really ugly. I think they're very like chic and this is the kind of stuff that you would find at an expensive shop like Anthropology for whatever. I don't know how much they sell glasses for these days. Um, my point is that's a part of just the imprint of who I am, right? Today, that's the imprint. So it's really just listening to those, those little impulses and those like, follow the joy. Follow the joy. You can't go wrong when you follow the joy and what feels good and what feels right. Yeah. Um, next time, we can get into a whole conversation about all the things that block you, that keep you stuck, because um, I can say follow the joy, but you might not be comfortable feeling joyful, right? And there's a reason for that, because we're all defensive and guarded. <laughs> okay, I'll share one more thing with you. I posted a meme yesterday that was a door, like a beautiful door and the doorknob was a cactus, like a prickly cactus. And the words under it said, therapist, you should learn to open up. Me, the door's open, <laughs> right? Um, the door's open, you're gonna have to like try to turn a cactus knob to get in, but the door, it's not locked, right? I think that was it, it's not locked, the door's not locked. I'm terrible at repeating jokes. Um, you get the point. We all have little defenses that we put in the way to protect ourselves. And sometimes that keeps us from actually living the life that we were designed to live. And that's, that's just really laid out before us and all we have to do is step into it. And you can trust it because it's made for you. Anything that comes from you, really, that's, that makes you feel good and peaceful is made for you. So just listen to that, okay? Trust, just try. <laughs> okay, I can go on and on into multiple points. Um, if you're just now watching this, um, watch, go back, cause I'm, I'm almost done, but go back and watch the replay of this. Right there after I rambled at the beginning and then this rambling I'm doing at the end, in the middle, there was some really good stuff, <laughs> okay? So um, go back and watch the replay. This will be posted here shortly. And let me know what you think of this. Does this land for you? Does this make sense? Um, I love trying to break it down, you know? Trying to take things that seem like confusing over here and break it down so that us people here can understand it, right? Anyway, um, let me know how that landed for you and how you're doing in general. Do you like my new wine glasses? Oh, this one has wine in it. This one doesn't. Spiced wine in this fancy Christmas glass? Let me know, just give me your opinions. <laughs> All right, I'm Jessica Amos. I'm a mindfulness and meditation teacher, a truth teller, 
the founder of Stay With Yourself and a life transformation coach. And what does it mean to stay with yourself? It means to be who you are, where you are. Yes, let's do that. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. All the love, bye.